Do you kiss your daughter good night? Do you kiss your father? Does he kiss his mother? Does she kiss her baby monkey? Do we kiss our friends? Do they kiss their little brother? The verb in the question form doesn't change. We need just to put does with he and she. Let's continue. Another verb. So the verb impress. I impress them. It means I make them feel surprised or shocked. I impress them. You impress me. You make me feel surprised or shocked. He impresses her. She impresses us. We impress all. They impress us. So these pronouns, them, me, her, us, and so they are called object pronouns. We are going to study them in the coming lessons. I promise you. I impress them, you impress me, he impresses her, she impresses us, we impress all, they impress us. So the verb doesn't change with I impress, you impress, we impress, they impress. But with he and she, we need to put to add ES. Let's go to the negative form. I don't impress them. You don't impress me. He doesn't impress her. She doesn't impress him. We don't impress all. They don't impress us. The verb doesn't change in the negative form, but we need to, uh, to put doesn't with he and she. Let's go to the question form. Do you impress them? Do you impress me? Does he impress her? Does she impress us? Do we impress all? Do they impress us? In the question form, the verb doesn't change with he and she because we have does. So remember, when we have does and doesn't, the verb doesn't take es. Let's continue with more verbs. In this slide, we are going to deal with verb finish. Positive form. I finish work, uh, just one, so I finish work or school at 3 p.m. You finish your food quickly. He finishes his work at 5 p.m. She finishes the housework early. We finish our duty on time. They finish work very late. So I finish, you finish, we finish, they finish. The verb doesn't change. But with he and she, we add ES. Let's go to the negative form. I don't finish work or school at 3 p.m. PM means in the afternoon. You don't finish your food quickly. He doesn't finish his work at 5 p.m. She doesn't finish the housework early. We don't finish our duty on time. They don't finish work very late. So you, as you see, in the negative form, the verb doesn't change in all pronouns. But we need to write, he doesn't, she doesn't. Let's go to the question form. Do I finish work or school at 3 p.m.? Do you finish your food quickly? Does he finish his work at 5 p.m.? Does she finish the housework early? Do we finish our duty on time? Do they finish work very late? As you see in the question, the verb doesn't change with all pronouns, but we need to write does he and does she. Let's go and see more verbs. Now let's see verb watch, teach, and touch. Positive form. I usually watch TV. You often watch Indian movies. He sometimes watches tennis on TV. 
She rarely watches TV. We never watch Mexican films. They always watch the news on TV. We use in these sentences adverbs of frequency to remember them, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never, always. And the verbs with I, I watch, you watch, we watch, they watch. The verb doesn't change. But with he watches, ES. She watches, ES. Let's go to the negative form. I usually don't watch TV. You often don't watch Indian movies. He sometimes doesn't watch tennis on, on TV. She really doesn't watch TV. We don't watch Mexican films. They always don't watch the news on TV. As you see, I don't watch, you don't watch, we don't watch, they don't watch. But with he doesn't watch. She doesn't watch. The verb doesn't change in all pronouns in the negative form, as we said, because we have doesn't. Let's go to the question form. Do I usually watch TV? Do you often watch Indian movies? So Indian with capital I, because it's country or nationality. Does he sometimes watch tennis on TV? Does she really watch TV? Do we never watch Mexican films? Mexican also with capital M because it's nationality. Do they always watch the news on TV? So as I said before in the question, the verb doesn't change. But we need to put does with he and she. Does he watch? Does she watch? Let's see more verbs. Let's see verb teach. I teach English. You teach French. He teaches Arabic. She teaches physics. We teach maths. They teach history. As you see, I teach you teach, we teach, they teach, the verb doesn't change. But with he and she, the verb add es. He teaches, she teaches. Let's go to the negative form. I don't teach English. You don't teach French. She doesn't teach Arabic. She doesn't teach physics. We don't teach maths. They don't teach history. So as you see, in the negative form, I repeat in every slide in the, of the negative form, the verb doesn't change with all pronouns. But you need to put he doesn't, she doesn't. Let's go to the question form. Do I teach English? Do you teach French? Does he teach Arabic? Does she teach physics? Do we teach maths? Do they teach history? I repeat, in the question form, the verb doesn't change with all pronouns, but you need to write, does he, does she? Let's see more verbs in the positive form. We are going to see verb touch. I touch you. You touch me. He touches her. She touches him. We touch 